Whether you're already a BCS family or your prospective family, or you just stumbled across this video, we wanna thank you so much for walking through the characteristics of a Christ-centered education with us. We've already gone through, we live in community, we have a conscience and we are created and we're about to walk through what it means to be a caretaker. But already I've just seen so much change just in myself from walking through not only these videos, but sitting down and talking to so many of our family members and our students and our staff at Bethesda on what it means to just be a part of the Bethesda community. It's reminded me why my family placed me here in the school as a student 20 years ago and why I'm back as a teacher and as a staff member and I wake up every day to pour into the life of these students and we hope that you feel the same. So today I'm sitting down with head of school Jason Myers and we're going to talk a little bit more about what it means to be a caretaker. Jason, can you explain to us what it means exactly to be a caretaker? Yes, this, this characteristic sometimes has a tendency to be misinterpreted as focusing on environmental responsibility or the responsibility towards our bodies, and that's extremely important. However, if we only focus on those two areas and we are caretakers, we miss the intellectual, the emotional, the social side of the importance of being caretakers in a community. And when we're able to rewind all the way back to the creation mandate, when Adam and Eve were placed with the opportunity to subdue and develop the earth, that they had more to do than just simply take care of their bodies and the environment themselves. Then as we fast forward to the end, when God is bringing the new heaven and earth and restoring it, we can see that he has a straight line trajectory to take us from the beginning until the end. But he needed to send his son to redeem us. And in that redemption process, he is engaging us on a day-to-day -day basis. Christians can engage in all areas, whether you're in banking, whether you're in politics, whether you're in the arts and music or sports, it doesn't matter because God is redeeming each one of us individually, yet we have a responsibility within that. And that responsibility is to live above re reproach and to ensure that our Christian values and morals are able to establish the direction that each of those go. So, I mean, we're sinners and we're broken, so how can we truly be caretakers? That was from the Garden of Eden all the way to where we are now. And God restores us, and we have an opportunity to live in that restoration. I think back to a time when my son and I enjoyed washing our car together. And he would, with me, take the time to scrub every area, at least what he thought of the car. And he wasn't tall enough to reach the roof, or he didn't know that we needed the tires clean. And he would try and wash the car. And oftentimes I'd be going back over places that he missed and he would leave spots dirty that he couldn't reach. But in the end, he would go and declare to his mother and his sister that he had cleaned the car. And I knew as his earthly father that there was work that I had to do to help him in the process of that. And that's how our Heavenly Father sees us, is that we're here on earth engaging in the redemptive restoration process with Him. And yet, there's so many times where our sin allows us to make mistakes or we mess it up. And yet, God is able to restore us through this process if we're willing to engage with Him. And that means that we're going to sometimes step out in faith, that we don't necessarily know what the end result will be. And it might look messy, it might need to be cleaned up, but God is able to walk with us in His will and in His way. That was such a good example. I feel like I can think back to so many points in my life where I was just like Jada and creating more work for my dad or my mom or whoever. Um, and, and hopefully that they saw the same thing that you did, that, that we're, it's just a picture of the gospel. That's right. And the reality is that there's not going to be another Rachel before you or after you. There's not going to be another Jason that was before me or will follow me. But God has purposefully interwoven each of us into his perfect plan for this time, for this purpose. And because of that, we get to engage with his creation, with each other in community, and he's able to use us for his purpose. So because we're a part of this new creation that God is restoring, how can the Bethesda community really engage in this, like we are caretakers? It's amazing, but it truly shows how purposeful this all is by God's design, that everything we do, every act of love or act of gratitude, when I play an instrument or create a work of art, uh, whether I'm taking care of an elderly person or praying for the sick, that every single thing I'm doing is a part of 
redeeming this earth to restore it back to him. And yet, I can't do it without you, and we can't do it without each other, and each of us has an individual important purpose in this all, and we need each other in order to do it. And, and we're taking the time now to show that being a caretaker is so far beyond you taking care of your body and me taking care of this earth, yet we have this divine purpose right here, right now on this earth to make sure that we are doing what was mandated right from the very beginning until God brings forward his kingdom to come. I love that. I love hearing that it is, it's more encompassing than just the environment and, and taking care of ourselves, which is so important, but that it's absolutely in everything that we do. Um, thank you so much for joining us and as we walk through the characteristics of a Christ-centered education. If you're not already following us on Facebook or Instagram, please go and do that, um, as well as subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or Google Play.